Hey guys, welcome back to Sueño de Vida here in the cloud forest of Ecuador. We're going to have a little tutorial today on different varieties of cacao. So in a lot of my videos previously, I talked about the differences between hybrid cacao and heirloom cacao because that was all I had to talk about. We're a young farm. We're about six years into our agroforestry system. But now, lo and behold, we have many heirloom cacao trees producing. And not only are they producing heirloom cacao, Aroma Nacional of Ecuador, a very um, important heritage breed here of Ecuador, one of the oldest known cacaos. Um, they're also producing different types of Aroma Nacional. So here I have three pods from three different trees. And you can see they're all slightly different. This one is a little bit more narrow. Yeah, this one here is uh, rounder and smoother. Yeah, it doesn't have quite those deep creases in it. And then this one is even a little bit more different. It's got some very deep creases in it. So they're all just slightly different. When you open it up and taste them, some of them are a little bit more floral, more lemony. And I'll tell you what, guys, like, I I'm not one of these tasting snobs that's, like, so not my thing, like, the chocolate snob thing and, like, the high-grade blah, blah. Like, we're growing this cacao because we're farmers, and we see an incredible potential for uh, growing heirloom cacao. There's a great demand for it in the world. It's becoming inc increasingly rare with all of the cheap commodity chocolate out there. So this is not the cacao that, say, like, Nestle would buy or, you know, Cargill would buy or one of those hor horrible, evil companies. This is the cacao that, like, the cool, like, you know, uh, artisanal chocolate makers buy that have the really nice labels that want to tell the stories about the farms. Well, we are one of those farms doing the regeneration. You know, we've got local employees coming in, trying to improve the livelihoods in our community. And so we see these cacaos, these very in-demand, high-value cacaos, as part of that process. So I don't really, you know, I don't get too much into, like, the genetics and like does it taste like tobacco or spice or whatever that's not really my thing i want to tell you guys this is very valuable uh it, we have feel like it has a real potential to uplift the livelihoods of people here in the ecuadorian cloud forest it's very rare it's very unusual and it's been displaced right a lot of heirloom varieties of, of a lot of crops have been displaced to grow you know cheaper commodity higher producing versions that don't have as much nutrition or just don't have as much flavor or both. Um, so there's a little intro there to different varieties, not just of cacao, but also there's different varieties of heirloom varieties of cacao. And now we're fortunate enough that we are actually producing it um, in larger quantities and in different varieties. So not only is variety the spice of life, but diversity is the key to resilience. 